James Benjamin Blish, the 23rd of May 1921 to the 30th of July 1975, was an American science fiction and fantasy writer. He is best known for his Cities in Flight novels and his series of Star Trek novelizations written with his wife J.A. Lawrence. He is credited with creating the term gas giant to refer to large planetary bodies. Blish was a member of the Futurians. His first published stories appeared in Super Science Stories and Amazing Stories. Blish wrote literary criticism of science fiction using the pen name William Atheling Jr. His other pen names included Donald Laverty, John McDougall, and Arthur Lloyd Merlin. Topic: <laughs> Early Life Blish was born on 23 May 1921 at East Orange, New Jersey. While in high school, Blish self-published a fanzine using a hectograph, called The Planeteer. The fanzine ran for six issues. Blish attended meetings of the Futurian Science Fiction Society in New York City during this period. Futurian members Damon Knight and C.M. Kornbluth became close friends, however, Blish's relationship with other members were often bitter. A personal target was fellow member Judith Merrill, whom he would debate politics with. Merrill would frequently dismiss Blish's self-description of being a paper fascist. She wrote in Better to Have Loved 2002. Of course, Blish was not fascist, anti-Semitic, or any of those terrible things, but every time he used the phrase, I saw red. Blish studied microbiology at Rutgers University, graduating in 1942. He was drafted into Army service, and he served briefly as a medical laboratory technician. The United States Army discharged him for refusing orders to clean a grease trap in 1944. Following discharge, Blish entered Columbia University as a master's student of zoology. He did not complete the program, opting to write fiction full time. In 1947, he married Virginia Kidd, a fellow Futurian. They divorced in 1963. Blish then married artist J. A. Lawrence in 1968, moving to England that same year. From 1962 to 1968, Blish worked for the Tobacco Institute, as a writer and critic. Much of his work for the Institute went uncredited. Blish died on 30 July 1975 from complications related to lung cancer. He was buried in Hollywell Cemetery, Oxford. The Bodleian Library at Oxford is the custodian of Blish's papers. The library also has a complete catalogue of Blish's published works. Topic: <laughs> Career. Throughout the 1940s, Blish published most of his stories in the few pulp magazines still in circulation. His first story was sold to fellow Futurian Frederick Pohl for Super Science Stories, 1940, called. Emergency refueling. Other stories were published intermittently, but with little circulation. Blish's Chaos, Coordinated, co written with Robert A. W. Lowndes, was sold to Astounding Science Fiction, appearing in the October 1946 issue, earning Blish national circulation for the first time. Topic Pantropy Blish was what Andrew Litpak called a practical writer. He would revisit, revise, and often expand on previously written stories. An example is Sunken Universe, published in Super Science Stories in 1942. The story reappeared in Galaxy Science Fiction as Surface Tension, in an altered form in 1952. The premise emphasized Blish's understanding of microbiology, and featured microscopic humans engineered to live on a hostile planet's shallow pools of water. The story proved to be among Blish's more popular, and was anthologized in the Science Fiction Hall of Fame, Volume 1, 1929-1964, edited by Robert Silverberg. The world of microscopic humans continued in The Thing in the Attic in 1954, and Watershed the following year. The fourth entry, A Time to Survive, was published by the magazine of fantasy and science fiction in 1957. 
The stories were collected, edited together, and released as The Fix Up the Seedling Stars 1956 from Gnome Press. John Clute said of all of Blish's deeply felt work explored confronting the Faustian or Frankensteinian man. Topic: <laughs> Cities in Flight 1950 to 1958. The Encyclopedia of Science Fiction asserts that it was not until the 1950s, and the Oki sequence of stories beginning their run, did it become clear, Blish, would become a, science fiction, writer of unusual depth. The stories were loosely based on the Oki migration following the Dust Bowl of the 1930s, and were influenced by Oswald Spengler's two-part Der Untergang des Abendlandes The Decline of the West. The stories detail the life of the Okies, humans who migrate throughout space looking for work in vast city ships, powered by spindizies, a type of anti-gravity engine. The premise and plot reflected Blish's feelings on the state of Western civilization, and his personal politics. The first two stories, Oki and Bindlestiff, were published in 1950, by astounding Sargasso of Lost Cities appeared in two complete science adventure books in April 1953, Earthman, Come Home, followed a few months later, published by Astounding. In 1955, Blish collected the four stories together into an omnibus titled Earthman, Come Home, published by Putman. More stories followed, in 1956, They Shall Have Stars, which edited together, Bridge, and At Death's End and in 1958, Blish released The Triumph of Time. Four years later, he published a new Okies novel, A Life for the Stars. The Okies sequence was edited together and published as Cities in Flight 1970. Clute notes, the brilliance of Cities in Flight does not lie in the assemblage of its parts, but in the momentum of the ideas embodied in it, albeit sometimes obscurely. Topic: After such knowledge, 1958 to 1971, Blish continued to rework older stories and did so for one of his best-known works, *A Case of Conscience*, 1958. The novel originated as a novella, originally published in an issue of *If* in 1953. The story follows a Jesuit priest, Ramon Ruiz Sanchez, who visits the planet Lithia as a technical member of an expedition. While on the planet they discover a race of bipedal reptilians that have perfected morality in what Ruiz Sanchez says is, "...the absence of God," and theological complications ensue. The book is one of the first major works in the genre to explore religion and its implications. It was the first of a series including Dr. Mirabilis and the two-part story Black Easter and The Day After Judgment The latter two were collected as The Devil's Day An omnibus of all four entries in the series was released by Legend in 1991, titled After Such Knowledge. A Case of Conscience won the 1959 Hugo Award for Best Novel, and was collected as part of Library of America's Omnibus American Science Fiction, Five Classic Novels 1956–1958 Star Trek 1967–1977 Blish was commissioned by Bantam Books to adapt episodes of Star Trek. The adapted short stories were generally based on draft scripts, and contained differing plot elements, and situations present in the aired television episodes. The stories were collected into 12 volumes, and published as a title series of the same name from 1967 to 1977. The adaptations were largely written by Blish, however, his declining health during this period proved problematic. His wife, J. A. Lawrence, wrote a number of installments, however, her work remained uncredited until the final volume, Star Trek XII released in 1977, two years after Blish's death, the original novel based on the television series, Spock Must Die. 1970, was also written by Blish, and he planned to release more. 
According to Lawrence, two episodes featuring popular character Harry Mudd, I, Mudd, and Mudd's Women were held back by Blish for adaptation to be included in the follow-up to Spock Must Die. However, Blish died before a novel could be completed. Lawrence did eventually adapt the two episodes, as Mud's Angels 1978, which included an original novella business, as usual, during altercations by Lawrence. Blish credited his financial stability later in life to the Star Trek Commission, and the advance he received for Spock Must Die. Topic. Literary criticism and legacy Blish was among the first literary critics of science fiction, and he judged works in the genre by the standards applied to «serious» literature. He took to task his fellow authors for deficiencies, such as bad grammar and a misunderstanding of scientific concepts, and the magazine editors, who accepted and published such material without editorial intervention. His critiques were published in fanzines in the 1950s under the pseudonym William Atheling Jr. The essays were collected in the issue at hand 1964 and more issues at hand 1970. Reviewing the issue at hand, Algus Budrys said that Atheling had, along with Damon Knight, transformed the reviewer's trade in this field. He described the persona of Atheling as Acidulous, assertive, categorical, conscientious, and occasionally idiosyncratic. Blish was a fan of the works of James Branch Cabell, and for a time edited Kalki, the journal of the Cabell Society. In his works of science fiction, James Blish developed many ideas and terms which have influenced other writers and on occasion have been adopted more widely, such as faster than light communication via the Dirac computer, introduced in the short story, Beep. 1954. The Dirac is comparable to Ursula K. Le Guin's Ansible. Blish is also credited with coining the term gas giant, in the story, Solar Plexus, as it appeared in the anthology Beyond Human Ken, edited by Judith Merrill. The story was originally published in 1941, but did not contain the term. Blish reworked the story, changing the description of a large magnetic field to a magnetic field of some strength nearby, one that didn't belong to the invisible gas giant revolving half a million miles away. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors, awards and recognition. The British Science Fiction Foundation inaugurated the James Blish Award for Science Fiction Criticism in 1977, recognizing Brian W. Aldiss. The Science Fiction and Fantasy Hall of Fame inducted him in 2002. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and Nominations. 1959 Hugo Award for Best Novel, for A Case of Conscience 1965 Nebula Award nomination for Best Novelette, for The Shipwrecked Hotel, with Norman L. Knight 1968 Nebula Award nomination for Best Novel, for Black Easter 1970 Hugo Award nomination for Best Novella, for We All Die Naked 1970 Nebula Award nomination for Best Novella, for A Style in Treason. Posthumous awards and nominations 2001 Retro Hugo Award nomination for Best Novelette, for Oki. 2004 1954 Retro Hugo Award for Best Novella, for A Case of Conscience. 2004 1954 Retro Hugo Award for Best Novelette, for Earthman, Come Home. <laughs> Guest of Honor 1960 Guest of Honor, 18th World Science Fiction Convention 1970 Guest of Honor, PsyCon 70 
Bibliography Blish's work was released by a variety of publishers in the United Kingdom and the United States, often with variations between editions and different titles. Blish also expanded and re-released his older work on several occasions. His work continued to be published after his death. The Bodleian Library's catalogue of Blish's works, and James Blish at the Internet Speculative Fiction Database are the sources for this bibliography. Note, very few of Blish's first editions were assigned ISBN numbers. <laughs> Short fiction and novellas Novels published in complete form, or serialized, in fiction magazines are included for completeness, and to avoid confusion. Beta novelette, Epsilon novella, Gamma novel. Topic anthologized short fiction 1952-2008 Beanstalk, Epsilon Future Tense 1952, ed. Kendall Foster Crossan. Greenberger. Expanded in Titan's Daughter 1961. Common Time, Shadows of Tomorrow, August 1953, ed. Frederick Pohl. Permabooks hash P236. A Matter of Energy, The Best from Fantasy and Science Fiction, 5th Series, January 1956, ed. Anthony Boucher. Doubleday. Nor Iron Bars, Beta, Expanded, Galactic Cluster, October 1959, ed. James Blish. Signet hash S1719. The Abattoir Effect, So Close to Home, the 27th of February 1961, ed. James Blish. Ballantine Books number 465K. None So Blind, Anywhen, July 1970, ed. James Blish. Doubleday. How Beautiful with Banners, Orbit 1, 1966, ed. Damon Knight. Whiting and Wheaton. We All Die Naked, 3 for Tomorrow, August 1969, ed. Uncredited. Meredith Press. More Light, Alchemy and Academe, November 1970, ed. Anne McCaffrey. Doubleday. Statistician's Day, Science Against Man, December 1970, ed. Anthony Cheatham. Avon Hash V2374. Getting Along, Beta Again, Dangerous Visions, the 17th of March 1972, ed. Harlan Ellison. Doubleday. A True Bill, A Chancel Drama in One Act, Beta Ten Tomorrows, September 1973, ed. Roger Elwood. Fawcett Gold Medal Hash M2820. The Price of a Drink, The Berserkers, January 1974, ed. Roger Eldwood. Trident ISBN 0-671-27113-X. Making Waves, Works of Art, the 30th of January 2008. NESFA Press ISBN 978-1-886778-70-2. Topic Novels 1952-1990 Jack of Eagles 1952. Greenberg. The Frozen Year the 19th of March 1957. Ballantine Books No. 197. Also released as Fallen Star 1957. Faber & Faber. Vor April 1958. Avon hash T-238. The Duplicated Man 1959. Avalon Books. A Torrent of Faces 1967, with Norman L. Knight. Doubleday. The Warriors of Day 1967. Lancer Books hash 73 to 580. The Star Dwellers 1961. G. P. Putnam's Sons. Titan's Daughter, March 1961. Berkeley Medallion Hash G507. The Night Shapes, October 1962. Ballantine Books Hash F647. Mission to the Heart Stars, the 11th of November 1965. Faber and Faber. Welcome to Mars, July 1966. G. P. Putnam's Sons. The Vanished Jet, 1968. Waybright and Tally. Dot dot dot. And All the Stars A Stage, July 1971. Doubleday. Midsummer Century, May 1972. Doubleday. Included in Midsummer Century Door Ed, 1974.
The Quincunx of Time, October 1973. Dell number 07244. Topic Cities in Flight Series 1955 to 1962 Earthman Come Home 1955 GP Putnam's Sons They Shall Have Stars 1956 Faber and Faber The Triumph of Time October 1958 Avon Hash T-279 Also released as a Clash of Symbols 1959 Faber and Faber A Life for the Stars 1962 G. P. Putnam's Sons. Topic after such knowledge series, 1958 to 1990, A Case of Conscience, April 1958, Ballantine Books Number no. 256, Doctor Mirabilis, 1964, Faber and Faber Number no. 55198, The Devil's Day, February 1990. By an ISBN 0 671 69860 5. Collections 1957 to 2009 The Seedling Stars 1957. Gnome Press. The Seedling Stars February 1959. Signet Hash S 1622. Best Science Fiction Stories of James Blish 1965. Faber and Faber. Midsummer Century, February 1974. Door Hash UQ1094. The Best of James Blish, August 1979. Ballantine, Del Rey ISBN 0-345-25600X. Also released as The Testament of Andros, August 1977. Arrow Books ISBN 0-09-914840-4. Get Out of My Sky, April 1980. Panther ISBN 0-586-04817-0. A Work of Art and Other Stories, July 1993. Seven House ISBN 0-7278-4464-4. With All Love, Selected Poems, March 1995. Anamnesis Press ISBN 0-9631203-1X. A Dusk of Idols and Other Stories, May 1996. Seven House ISBN 0-7278-4967-0. In This World, or Another, the 2nd of July 2003. Five Star ISBN 0-7862-5349-5. Works of Art, the 30th of January 2008. NESFA Press ISBN 978-1-886778-70-2. Flights of Eagles, the 20th of October 2009. NESFA Press ISBN 978-1-886778-86-3. Topic: Anthologies, 1959-1970. Galactic Cluster, October 1959. Signet Hash S1719. So Close to Home, the 27th of February 1961. Ballantine Books Number no. 465K. New Dreams This Morning, October 1966. Ballantine Books Hash U233. Anywhen, 1970. Doubleday. Nebula Award Stories 5, 1970. Gollinch. Topic: Nonfiction, 1964 to 1987. The Issue at Hand, 1964, as by William Atheling Jr. Advent Publishers. More Issues at Hand, December 1970, as by William Atheling Jr. Advent Publishers ISBN 0-911682-10-4. The Tale That Wags the God, July 1987. Advent Publishers ISBN 0-911682-29-5. Topic. Star Trek 1967 to 1977 Star Trek January 1967 Bantam Books #f3459 Star Trek 2 February 1968 
Bantam Books hash F3439. Star Trek 3, April 1969. Bantam Books hash F4371. Spock Must Die. February 1970. Bantam Books hash H5515. Star Trek 4, July 1971. Bantam Books hash S7009. Star Trek 5, February 1972. Bantam Books hash S7300. Star Trek 6, April 1972. Bantam Books hash S7364. Star Trek 7, July 1972. Bantam Books hash S7480. Star Trek 8, November 1972. Bantam Books hash SP7550. Star Trek 9, August 1973. Bantam Books hash SP7808. Star Trek 10, February 1974. Bantam Books hash SP8401. Star Trek 11, April 1975. Bantam Books hash Q8717. Also released as The Day of the Dove, October 1985. Spectra ISBN 0-553-25169-4. Star Trek 12, November 1977, with J. A. Lawrence. Bantam Books ISBN 0-553-11382-8. Topic: Omnibuses, 1970-2013. Cities in Flight, February 1970. Avon hash W187. After Such Knowledge, July 1991. Legend ISBN 0-09-983100-7. The Seedling Stars, Galactic Cluster, April 1983. Signet ISBN 0-451-12148-1. Black Easter, the day after judgment, the seedling stars, the 26th of September 2013, ISBN 9780575129306.